Hi, I'm Katie O'Brien, part of the Sony Dash team, and going to show you how to set up Dash. So I've just taken Dash out of the box. I've removed the protective film covering that's over the screen. And now I've got this cord already plugged in, but I want to insert it here, which will start up the unit. You'll see a, a startup video come up. Free it's going through all the features of Dash, but if you don't want to watch this, simply tap the screen. So at this point, we're actually going to start setting up the device. First, you're going to set your location, and this is simply setting the, the time on the clock. And all you're doing is you're zooming in by just tapping the screen. So you've got your location coming up here at the bottom, and now I hit next. At this point, we're going to start our Wi-Fi setup. So you do need to have a Wi-Fi connection to use Dash. It will automatically sniff out the Wi-Fi access points around you. So here, I know this is mine. And if you need to refresh the list, the button is right up here. You'll also see little question marks along the way during the setup process in case you do need um, help. So you've got two options here. If you're not sure which one to use, it will automatically usually default to the option it thinks you want to use. Here it's giving you a definition of when you would want to use either one. If you choose the wrong one, it's not a big deal. It will just prompt you to use a different one. You won't be able to log in. So I'm going to enter my password, which is secure. I'm not going to share you. Okay, we want luck. <laughs> It's also a capacitive touch screen, which means that um, it's pretty sensitive. Um, you don't have to tap it 10 times to get the selection you want. So here, I have an option of doing automatic or manual. If you're gonna be using this access point more than once, which you probably are if you're setting it up in your home, I would recommend you hit automatic. So we're confirming here the network settings that we want to choose. It's confirming that your password matches up with your access point and succeeded. And now we're just configuring our Wi-Fi uh, network here. So now that we've set up the device, it's going to go through and authorize and download the control panel and then uh, prompt you for a software update which will be delivered through your Wi-Fi network. You can hit later if you like and then if you unplug your device and plug it back in, it will prompt you again for the software update. But whenever you first turn on your device, you will need to have the software update to get the latest features available. Hit now and then the software update will be in progress. It'll download the control panel, it's authorizing, checking the network. So you don't have to set up your network connection again, it just went through that. And then um, just wait for a moment and then it will uh, bring your home screen so that you can start customizing all your apps. So now that we've accepted the software update, uh, we've loaded the control panel, and we have our default channel of apps um, that we've prepared for you. Now, if you want to add an app or add a whole new channel, really be more interactive with the device, we do recommend that you register. Again, it's a one-time registration. You go to sony.com forward slash my dash, and it just takes a few minutes. And, um, and then you configure, configure certain apps like Facebook or Twitter um, so you can link it to your personal account. And you do need to do that on the PC the first time you register and then never again.